Hi friends, welcome to Laravel A tutorial. Today we will learn about database migration along with new updates in Laravel 8. Migrations are typically a version controlling system for your database. Now if you work in a team, it allows team member to modify and share application database schema. Suppose anyone from your team member have added a table or added a column inside a table, then other team member will not get effect for that. They got updated code but not updated database. Migration solve this kind of problem. Using migration, we can solve this problem. So now we can understand why we learn migration. This is the home page when I run my Laravel 8 application and this is my database and we can see here there are some tables that is failed jobs, migration, password resets and users. When we install Laravel 8, if we check, we can get in the database folder, there is another folder that is migration folder and inside this migration folder, there are three migrations already created. So if we migrate this, uh, we will get these four tables. Basically, there are create user table, password reset table and fail jobs table. So we can see here, there are password reset table, user table and the fail jobs table. Here we can see the another table that is migrations. So migration table basically using the migration records that is batch means when you run migration for first time it appear as a batch one if if we again create another migration and run this then we will get the another batch that means after one we will get the two so in this way migrations uh, manages in laravel in this way so if we want to create migration how we can create so if we want to create migration, how we can create? So let's create a migration. To create a migration, we need to use php artisan make migration. After that, we need to set the name of the migration file. So here I want to set the migration file name is create student table. And I am providing the table name that is create students so here we can see a new migration file created and a timestamp also created with the file name actually when we create laravel migration to keep track the migration file laravel internally create this timestamp basically it is using to determine the order of the migration so if we check in the project directory inside the migration folder a new file is created that is create student table.php and just open this file you can see here a class file is created which extends the migration classes and this and there is two function that is up and down up method is responsible for migration or while we are going to create a migration this method is applied and down method is to revert the changes so we write our create table definition inside the up method and in down method we basically use to delete or drop the table code laravel by default providing this functionality we need to just use it so in the function in the schema create section we can see the table id and tables timestamps by default we're getting so what is the purpose of these two things so when we will run this migration a id will be generated to the student table basically id is the primary key and it's auto indicate value and the second thing is timestamp that will create two columns that is created at and updated at. 
so if you run this migration we will get a student table with the three columns that is id created at and updated at so now if you want to add some column here we will write so that is table suppose i'm going to provide a name so name is the string type so we will write here the string function and after that we will set the name so in the same way if we want to set some description here so we can write the description so basically description is text so we will use text and we will provide the name that is description so now save this file and we need to migrate this file so to migrate this we will use php artisan migrate so here we can see a student table is migrated and the timestamp also created so if you check in our database we can see so here is a new table is students and if you go to structure we can see the id name description created at and updated at and another things if we check the migration table which laravel default using so we can see the records for this new entry and the create student table is the migration name and the migration is done with the new batch that is batch 2 so here is the another things suppose i wrongly migrated these things and i need to revert back this migration so how we will revert this very simple laravel provides the rollback facility also so to roll back we need to use php artisan migrate rollback so here the rollback and we can see the rolling back table name is create student table and if we refresh our migration we can see the new badge is deleted and if we go to the database the student table also deleted so here uh, one thing we need to know using the rollback we can delete the last migration things so now we have the migration refresh command it will roll back all your migration and then execute the migration command this command will recreate your entire database that means if we use migration refresh command that means our all migration will be done again so if we use that php artisan migrate refresh so here we can see all things are rolling back and after that just migrating that means whatever we have the failed jobs password reset user table all are rolling back and again this migrating so user table password so if we check our database we will get the student table is back but here one important things needs to keep in your mind while using migrate refresh command it is just roll back database and return your migration if you have any records in your table that will be completely lost you will not get back that data so please keep in mind while using migrate refresh command so it's all about basic migration for laravel recently laravel 8 added some additional functionality with migrations so we got migration squashing functionality as you build your application you may accumulate more and more migration over time then your migration folder will become huge that means your migration folder have more than hundreds and hundreds of files now while you migrating if any reason if accidentally or your migration will stop maybe there is some timeout error maybe half of your migration done or any reason not successfully migrated all of your things that can be happen in laravel 8 this problem is solved to solve this problem laravel provides a schema dump option 
so how we will use schema dump option so using php artisan schema dump we can dump all your things so if you run this while marketing it will just create a single script file and those which will are successfully migrated so if you refresh we will get a new folder that is schema inside your database folder so here we can see there is a mysql schema.sql basically it is the sql file which you are migrated suppose your migration is stopped in a, some specific time or after some time that means your migration not completely so if you rerun the migration that time it will check this file and run the left of your migration means it will check whatever the code in the mysql schema.sql suppose there are four migration files so if first two files are executed successfully and the last two are not executed and that time in mysql schema sql so we will get these two files record and the left are not will be in this function so in that time if we rerun the migration it will check this file and run the left of your migration if you rerun your migration that time the first it will check the mysql schema.sql and whatever already migrated that things will not migrate again it will run from whatever we have left to migrate and here laravel provides the another options so if you want to migrate your database from the beginning then you can start from the beginning so how we can use this so you need to just use php artisan schema dump after that print then your database schema dump successfully and migration prints successfully that means your migration will start from beginning at that time a whole file will start from beginning so here there is my only four migration table that's the reason it's not interrupted anywhere so we cannot see the example for here but it's happened so it's all about migration and the new updates in laravel 8 so please comment if you have any queries and subscribe this channel for upcoming video next day i will show you database joining thanks for watching bye bye